Hi everyone, so before I get into this vlog, I did want to talk about a few things with you guys. My intent with uploading this video and continuing to upload content onto my YouTube channel is by no means to be insensitive to what's going on in the world right now. What happened to George Floyd and many others before him is completely inexcusable. I am really trying to do my part and if any of you have any recommendations for books, movies, TV shows, and podcasts that I should listen to, please Please let me know. I really pray that there is a day where all of us, no matter the color of our skin, can be seen, heard, and respected as equals across the globe. I hope that everyone who is part of my channel or my social media knows that no matter the color of their skin, they are welcomed, loved, and accepted, and part of this online community. With that said, we're going to continue with this vlog, and I hope that wherever you are in the world, you are remaining healthy and safe. Good morning everyone. Today is a very exciting day because I am going back to work. I'm about to start a three-day trip. Today I have one flight. I deadhead which means I fly as a passenger from Dallas to Las Vegas and I'm super excited because my parents live there so I'm gonna get to hang out with them. But I do need to pack so we're gonna go do that now. I'm about to start packing for my trip and we have Luna in here taking up half the bed. I always use two different packing cubes. It really just helps to stay super organized. Organized. In this larger one, I have pajamas, workout attire, shorts because I am going to Vegas and it is very hot, another pair of shorts because I am indecisive, along with a few tank tops, as well as a sundress right here. So for the three days that I'm going to be gone, I think that should be it. And in this smaller packing cube, I just have bathing suits, underwear, and socks. In my suitcase, I have my makeup wipes, my makeup bag, toiletry bag, my flight attendant work shoes right here, and since I am deadheading, I'm not required to wear my uniform on the flight today. I have extra work tights right here, some sandals, and some sunscreen. And then I will make sure to put my packing cubes in here. It's gonna be a little bit stuffed. Close everything up, and this is usually how I pack for every trip. Right now, I do need to meal prep, and last night, Eric and I went to Costco and got a lot of really awesome stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll those clips now. We just got back from Costco, and we got so much good stuff stuff. Eric loves bacon. I'll eat it occasionally. So we had to get some bacon and I actually saw this coffee from an Instagram ad, believe it or not, but it looks really good and it has zero grams of sugar, 80 calories, 10 grams of protein. We have some steak right here, organic lactose free milk, ground beef and chicken, strawberries, some riced cauliflower, a Caesar salad kit that we will probably make tonight, almond flour, eggs, a pretty staple item, provolone cheese and salami packets. And I I think these would be really good to pack for my flight attendant trips. These are some of my favorite treats. They're the Bark Thins, dark chocolate almond, and sea salt. A lot of you guys ask what we give Luna every day, and we give her one of these dentist sticks to help her have fresh breath and clean teeth, as well as a brand new bed for Luna to have down here. Good girl, Luna. Do you like it? Do you like your new bed? And last but not least, I do want to meal prep a little bit before I head out on this trip. Right here, I have cauliflower flour, rice, broccoli, and chicken. I'm bringing a lot of strawberries with me. I have these provolone cheese and salami snacks, and I am also bringing some microwavable oatmeal. I know that's not enough food for the whole three days, so I do know that I will probably need to get some food on the road. Just got in my car, and I'm about to head out to the airport for work. I'm not gonna lie, I am super excited to be going back to work and traveling again, but there's a part of me where it feels really weird. Like, I haven't done this in so long. Being home has kind of become my new normal. I am just incredibly grateful that I have my job and I've really been looking forward to this trip and I hope you all are excited to come along with me for it. With all of that said, I will see you guys at the airport. I just got to the airport and I just realized that I totally forgot my mask at home. I'm really hoping that they have extra masks for us either on the plane or in one of our crew rooms. Got my mask, I was actually able to pick up three so I can have one for each day of my trip. So now I just need to head over to the sea terminal so I can catch my flight.
just landed in Las Vegas. The flight was smooth. It was two and a half hours and it is 97 degrees here. I'm waiting for my parents to pick me up now and even though it's almost 100 degrees out, it really doesn't feel that hot because it's pretty cloudy. I just got to my parents' house so I can drop all of my stuff off here until I head to the hotel tonight. And I think soon we're going to drive up and down the strip because I haven't seen it in so long. My dad was just saying these are all of the rental cars that are overflowing because there's nowhere to put them. That porta cachet is never empty. Right now we are driving down the Las Vegas Strip and I have personally never seen it this empty. Hanging out with my parents. Say hi, mama. Hi. That big red building right in front of us is a new resorts world that is currently being built. My parents were just saying how interesting it is that everything on this strip looks so different from what we're used to seeing. In reality, it's probably the same. We're just not used to seeing all of these locations without a ton of people on them. Right now we are coming up on T-Mobile Arena and this is where the Golden Knights play. They are the Las Vegas professional hockey team. This whole area right here is called the Park Plaza and it's where everyone goes before the hockey games to eat and just have fun. And they usually have live music playing right outside all of these restaurants. Back at my parents' house now, and one of the community pools is open, so my mom and I are gonna go swimming and just lay out in the sun. The sun is starting to come out now, so I think getting in the water is going to feel so good. Yeah, it does feel really good. I'm usually baby about going underwater, but I want to test out my new GoPro. So three, two, one. I think about us, I think about us falling through the dark night and through time. Swimming in the pool was so nice, and now we are going to have a family dinner. My mom made us some steak fajitas. It just feels so good to have a home cooked meal. Just got to my hotel. The reason why I am staying at the hotel tonight instead of with my parents is just because we have a super early flight tomorrow morning. I want to make sure that I can get to the airport on time with my crew. It feels really weird to be staying in a hotel again. I haven't stayed in one in two months. I have the bathroom right in here, a nice big bed. Today was a really fun day and it was great getting to see and hang out with my parents, but it is a little bit after 9 p.m. now and since I am getting up so early tomorrow, I am going to shower and go straight to bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning everyone, it is 5.30 a.m. I have one hour before I need to be downstairs for our pickup. We are working two flights today, so I'm going to fix my hair and put some makeup on and then head downstairs. I am just about ready for work now. I need to be downstairs in about 10 minutes. Like I said, we have two flights today, but you guys are going to have to wait until my next upload to see where my layover tonight is. I will let you guys know though that it is a beach layover and I am so excited. I have missed the beach so much. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more content from me, please subscribe. Thank you everyone 
everyone again so much for watching and for supporting my channel it really does mean the world to me and i will see you all next time bye